Isn't so we let it be. This is the time when we give you the opportunity to share your good, to expand your good with your tithes and offerings and your blessings. Before I do that, we have chaplains. I would like to identify if they would stand to raise their hand so people can see you. These chaplains are here for you, to know the truth for you in total confidentiality. Thank you, chaplains. Be sure to see them after the service. Let's say together the blessing of the tithes and offerings, and I invite those who are streaming out there to join us as we say together. Divine love, as me, blesses and multiplies all that I am, all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive. And this is an opportunity for someone to tell us what unity means to me, and I understand Ben might have something to tell us. That would be great. Thank you. Thank you, Shipley. I started a journey about four or five years ago, 2009. I'd moved to Newburyport. I was really lost. I had lost basically everything I thought that mattered in my world, family, money, everything, for like the second time. I heard about this place, and the music brought me in, first of all. And of course, listening to Shipley was great. And I was going through this path. I had about another year, and I wound up leaving Newburyport. I was still kind of gyrated. In that time period, I quit drinking, which really helped a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, yeah. And then last year, I found myself back in Newburyport again. I said, this is really where I want to be. A few months later, I'm back here. Again, great music. <laughs> and of course, Shipley and the message. But what it means to me is I found my spiritual home for once. Like all of you, I have a tradition. I came from a different tradition. I'm not going to knock it. I got what I got from it. But this was really calling me. And the friends and everybody that I've been connecting with has really amplified my life in like a no way. But getting into the music, when I joined the choir a few months ago, that's what connected me. Now I was part of this place. As before I was just watching, now I owned it. So it means, it's my spiritual family is what it means to me. And I want to thank all of you. Shipley Music. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Steve. Yay. So glad you raised your hand and I could see you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you were supposed to email me. <laughs> I stand in the present. Uh, my name is Steve, and I'm, I'm glad that I can say that to you today because I always couldn't say that. And it was about 15 or, 15 or so years ago, I, like Ben, was... Um, having a very difficult time in my life. I was in a very tumultuous marriage, long time marriage. It was my second marriage and I had two wonderful children. And, um, and we had been through therapy, therapists. We had been through six therapists. <laughs> trying to save our marriage because it was so important. We had these two children. We had both been married before. But at some point, I thought that I was going to die. I couldn't go on like this and live. And I said to God, I don't know what you've got for me, but I surrender because I can't continue on this path any longer. Knowing the anguish and the trauma that it would cause my wonderful children. And friends of mine had said uh, to me for a number of years, well, come on down to unity. And so I kind of limped in here, and when I look at that, when I look at the candle today, 
Mine was just a little flicker. I knew that there was some goodness inside of me, but there wasn't a lot. And so I got involved with this community, and I was accepted in this community. I felt comfortable in this community, and I recognized that perhaps I had something that I could give this community. And so Shipley would say, time after time, she would say, well, you know, you're fine just the way you are. And even though my, li my wing was limping, you know, I started to get involved. And I started to give my time, talent, and treasure. And the more I gave, of course, the more I got. And talk about connection. Talk about feeling a part of. This community has supported me. And early on in that path, I met a wonderful woman, and her flame was bright, and we joined our flames, and she's my sole sacred partner, Rosemary, and I want to tell you that today, and because of this community, I have, I, I live in love and gratitude and spontaneity. I love Shipley's spontaneity. Don't we all love Shipley's spontaneity? I mean, how good does it get? I'm sitting there this morning and I've got goosebumps with Mara and the choir and the voices and the energy in this community. So our light burns brighter and brighter. And, you know, I live in holy moments. And it was just to, I have to tell you, I have to tell you. I know I time, but I have to tell you. <laughs> you know, I've done good in the past because I've only taken a little bit of time, but I got to tell you. <laughs> so, so Friday night, my daughter graduated from college uh, last year, and she graduated with a bachelor in uh, psychology. And she's kind of struggled and overwhelmed and doesn't quite know her next step. And I was talking with Rosemary uh, Friday night, and I'm saying, gee, I wish there was some way I could, could help her. And so I had lunch with my daughter yesterday, and we were just having a cup of coffee afterwards. And one of our neighbors, who's a therapist, but we don't know really well, she just happened to trottle by. And we just get started talking, and she said, well, I know of this person. She was the, she was, she was the, uh, 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 med administrator of the Oyster River, River Schools, and when she when she retired, she started getting together with kids and helping them, uh, and giving them opportunities in certain career paths. And she's well connected in, in our area. And what a blessing! What a holy moment! What a holy moment for my daughter, our connection. And you know, we never, I never would have been there. But I also know that we live today. We live in these moments. And we have a great uh, possibility this morning because we have a very, very important community meeting. And so our challenge, and I know my challenge, is to recommit, to reconfigure, to deepen, to strengthen my commitment, time, talent, treasure to this community. And I know it's such an important time for us all to come together to write the new and exciting chapter of Unity on the River. So I hope you're all going to be here today. Yay. We overflow with blessings. Mmm, sweet spirit. I thank you. We thank you for this community of love and for their generosity of spirit. We thank you for the abundance of their gifts, for their willingness to say yes. Yes, I am supporting this ongoing center. Yes, we will continue. Yes, I will support it. Yes, we will become more than we could ever imagine because 
of the individuals here and the light that they bring and how they give of their time, their town, and their treasure. And these offerings are touching lives and healing lives and healing people here and going out beyond to do the will and the work of Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. Blessed be. So it is. Amen, amen. Okay, Bill Free. We have some celebrations and invitations. And... <laughs> she says, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I just want to give your, oh, first of all, I just want to say you guys are so awesome. Bringing the love in today, that's what made the experiences that we noticed up here. That's what brought, brings us to bliss, and that's the experience that Steve had and Ben talks about. I was over there just going, oh, wow. this is." <laughs> and also, Mara, those lyrics, that, that thing is a meditative. That brings you into a total vibration. So thank you with that. Uh, real quick, we have some new flyers on the whiteboards in the lobbies that say, I'm here to help, and some little yellow pieces of paper that have all the different teams that we have here at Unity on the River, so you guys can get in the game, you can do what Steve talked about, you can do what Ben talked about, you can actually experience the community as part of yourself, and, and you're, if you're flickering, your flames will light right up, just like he was talking about. So these pieces of paper are in, are by the whiteboards, and there's a table in hospitality, a round table that's over in the corner that has a stack of them on it. And we would just love to have your involvement here. If you feel that that's a pull for you, uh, it's available. Uh, also, uh, Prosperity Plus Two, we, uh, Lisa and I are facilitating that on Tuesday nights. It's an amazing, New work by Mary Morrissey. Ben's putting a big thumbs up for it. He wasn't going to go, and then after the class on Tuesday night, he came up to me and he goes, oh, my God, I can't believe I was going to miss this, Bill. This is an amazing work of Mary Morrissey. It's her best work, and it really does cause you to, find, to let go of the things that are causing, that are giving you <laughs> limits on your life, and it helps you to step into your imagination. The blue is your imagination. It helps you to step into what your potential is by letting go of what doesn't serve you. So I just want to invite you. We have, you can come on Tuesday night, that's, and then we're closing the class. So uh, if you're interested in that, we have four more packages available for you. Uh, save the date for the chili cook-off on February 16th, 12 noon. It's uh, our congregants are going to be doing a little cookie, uh, I mean, a, a cooking uh, chili cook-off, uh, and we'll judge it, and not too much judge it, just come and eat it and <laughs> enjoy it. Um, so come for the chili cook-off. The youth and family uh, will have a jewelry and a bake sale in the bookstore after service next week. And then uh, next, David Hulse. He sounds like a really cool guy. Who's your daddy? That's more, that's kind of a play on words, but really he's talking about, are you listening to your brain? Or are you listening to the mind of God? Are you listening to the Christ self? That's what, who your daddy is about. David Hulse is, uh, is a master teacher on sound therapy, and he is going to give, uh, he'll do our uh, service next week. He'll have a workshop afterwards, and then he also is going to have uh, a workshop on Monday night. Is it Monday night? Yeah, Monday night. And he also has a few appointments where he does sound healing, and it's vibrational. He does it with some kind of a tuning fork, but it sounds really good. David Hulse. Is that it? I think that's it. All right. Bless you. Thank you. I love you. Good job. Now let's welcome back to Arch. You can hear the kids out there going nuts. I oh, know. I just want to say happy birthday, Mom, up in heaven. I love you more yeah, every, day, every day.
see a new horizon line. The known one does not hold me long enough to change. And change is what I need, yes. Change is what I need. Give in to me the formed idea of you, a medallion at my breast. Remembering enough, I could become brave. Remembering enough, I could become brave. Look deep into the shadow, it's so hard to see. The light in the corner is calling me. The shadow walls that block us find the courage to care. Lean into mine in your heart space. As I am in your embrace Shadow on the floor Must find the courage to care Make unto me a new horizon line Shadow on the floor Must find the courage to care Remembering enough I am brave Find the courage Courage to care Remember, remember enough And be brave Find the courage Courage to care Because change is what you need today. You want to hold up the dragon head?
boys and girls, how do we scare Nin the dragon monster? How do we scare him? We make noise, don't we? Let's make some noise. Can you make noise? Woo! He's afraid of rattles? He's afraid of red. The color of luck, isn't it? It's the color of good luck for the Chinese New Year. And loud noises. So let's make some loud noises. Woo! Good job. Good job, everyone. I want to remind everyone, I want to remind parents that right directly after service today, we haven't had our refreshments yet. So we're going to go back to youth ed with your permission so we can have our refreshments and then they can have their prizes for participating in our dragon dance. Okay? Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Uh, love notes have been, if you have any love notes for the veterans, uh, just put them in hospitality and I'll try to call the woman. The woman just came and picked them up. I apologize for that. The other thing uh, is that next week is our jewelry and Valentine's Day, so please help us with that cause. Okay. I got a few prayers here, huh? Come on back and let's rise and sing our peace song. Oh, more. Hi, Hannah. Okay, thank you. I'd like somebody to hold my hand. <laughs> yeah. This week I remember my 12 spiritual powers from gift from God, and I am coded for Christhood. Hmm. The light of God surrounds us.